Hey yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Potter with Grandmaster Bricks back with another video. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning back in. You can tell by the title of the video. Today is going to be a long one. We are taking a look at every single submission that's under review for the ideas 2023 year submission, even though we're in year 2024. These are all the sets that were submitted in the year 2023. Some of them are still under review. There is typically three reviews and the very first review has the two sets announced. We'll take a look at that. The other two reviews are still under review. The sets have not been decided on. So uh, yeah, I thought this would be a great opportunity. Got my jacket on nice and comfortable because it's gonna be a long one. One of the things I wanted to figure out before we got going was what are your chances? Kind of like what's the percentage rate for getting your set chosen? So once it does reach that 10,000 club, uh, it's still up to Lego inevitably. Uh, and you're up against a bunch of other people. So for example, this round, even though it is divided into smaller rounds, I just went ahead and just said, in total for the year of 2023 there's 162 sets that were under review and about 10 of them probably will get chosen that's kind of like a ballpark that's what i'm guessing and that's about a six percent chance that your set will get chosen so be an absolute honor for anybody i know also one of the cool parts is you get one percent of the net profit uh so you do get paid i think for the first quarter for a certain amount of time not forever but uh yeah so that that's a that's a pretty big deal but uh this first review like i said has already gotten chosen uh has already the two have already been picked i did want to kind of scroll through very very quickly all of this i'm going to go through very fast but i wanted to look because these potentially could still roll over into the bricklink designer program so i felt it was valid to actually take a take a second and look but uh, I guess just out of the way, just so nobody's confused, the two sets that got chosen out of the first submission, out of the first review submission, was the Twilight Culloden House and then also the Botanical Garden. So those were the two that were chosen out of the 71. Then we've got the second submission with 49 and then the third has 42. But then just scrolling down, the amount of fun ideas, licensing, sometimes certain things just can't get done done because of licensing like cat in the hat i do i don't even know if lego has the license agreement to that but it got ten thousand votes so it's going to be underneath the review it's going to go into review whether they can accept it or not but uh we've got sweet honey there's the botanical botanical that got chosen because of the queen of england i think that would be uh passing i think that would have been a really good one stargate We've got motorized uh, house moving castle, another Stargate. Another reason to kind of go through and see there's some sets that are more popular than others. There's repeat sets. Um, I know Shrek, it was like the 20th anniversary. So that was kind of a popular one. Green baby sea turtle. That's just really, really a cute set. Interesting approach. Very, very artistic. That's cool. I actually don't remember seeing that one. Uh, Humpback whale. Then there's another Shrek. There's in, in another submission, we're going to see another Shrek. So we've got Brooklyn Nine-Nine, never seen it. A lamp, coffee shop. We've got sawmill, Godzilla. Man, I'm such a fan of Godzilla. I do wish that would have gotten chosen. Maybe Bricklink Designer Program. You never know. Where's Waldo? Loved that book when I was a kid. Licensing definitely uh, would be a fun one to see in uh, Lego form. Another train. The gold is, woo, that is that would be nice to have the gold plated Riverside Lodge Daft Punk uh, helmets that's a pretty good idea Settlers of Catan another board game which would be awesome Monsters Inc because of that uh, it had a TV show that came out that would be a pretty pretty good one one thing I do feel like in the ideas it's not always necessary is actual like intellectual property stuff that's already an idea should it really be an idea for the ideas line just kind of a facetious thought just an idea et that'd be a super cool one uh amethyst geode cracked open with the hammer that one would definitely need a light kit that would be really sick scream astronaut we did have a three in one that came out so i would imagine that would not have made it through bluey super popular uh, I would have loved a Naruto one, even though I'm just talking about not having intellectual property or not needing it. 
that would have been so cool so awesome bionicle that that would have been a good one uh kind of revitalizing that that whole bionicle culture wednesday that's a that's a great little kind of diorama set kind of cut out from the actual tv series we've got narnia we've got cabin parks and rec because of all the sitcoms they've done that would have been a pretty decent one uh gilmore girls luge this is a really cool set just a cut out very interesting uh very unusual not like your typical lego set that you would see uh harry styles he's pretty popular lantern in the wind ninjago vibes kind of like tranquil garden almost so it kind of would be you'd go good next to it but also not needed adam's family of course because wednesday the uh spongebob vibes uh this i think is extremely needed in the ideas maybe maybe not but fantastic i don't know if some of these colors exist in like two by so that would be cool but every once in a while they add colors like i know they just added that red uh orange color so i don't know if it's in there but fantastic idea this just needs to be a thing um phases of the moon that's pretty cool Taylor Swift, uh, we're going to see quite a few of those. She is quite popular. Uh, the Elf movie, that Elf is such a like a cult classic. It, it would be really cool to see that in Lego form. Double Helix Pirate Coaster. Edda's House, uh, Owl House, Edda's, Edda's Owl House. I don't know what that's from. Um, then we've got Wizard's Hut Hourglass. That's pretty cool. Small Fishing Boat vintage radio so those were all of the submissions 71 that was a lot I, like i said just running through just, just naming them off basically but those are really cool all of those first ones so twilight house got selected boom the minifigures are gonna be wild and then uh i am team jacob so werewolf that's pretty cool and then botanical garden so there was a friend set that was a botanical garden and people were using multiples of those to kind of make their own so maybe they, maybe lego saw that and thought this would be a good idea that it was needed in the market so uh now we're gonna move on to the uh second round of reviews and these maybe i'm gonna take a, a little bit longer on because this is more of my opinion what's gonna be chosen because these have not been officially announced yet so so for some of these i don't want to get too excited too hopeful but uh there's a lot of great stuff and also having that second chance to it becoming a bricklink designer program definitely cool big boy big train retro arcade probably has a really cool interior helmet sparta got alfa romeo red bull f1 f1 cars they've done two of the big ones um uh, be interesting if they did it did it as an ideas i could definitely see the red bull car just coming no matter what Muppets we've got a few we've got multiple submissions over time of the Muppets uh theater mystery machine in like a big icon style that would be cool the whole side build with it not necessary still really cool uh with the dog tag but the build itself that would be cool mystery machine uh then we've got western river steamboat classic that would be cool we've got some uh We've got looks like uh, Greek mythology, Oblex, Asterix. Uh, then here's another Shrek. Like I said, there was quite a few Shrek submissions. We've got a Venice. Uh, I believe there was like a Bricklink set that was similar or Venice set or something. So I don't know if that would be chosen. Still House. I like that one. Would go good next to the Ideas Fishing uh, House. Fishing Lodge. Uh, that would be a good one another red bull car kind of smaller almost in the speed champion style uh that's pretty cool printed uh tires trojan horse with the spartan vibes again greek mythology stuff going on red dwarf uh sleeping quarters no clue what that is no clue uh tailspin sea duck meeting seagull i also don't know if this is looks like it's like got some figures in it so this is i guess from something really cool build though very uh different not a, your typical lego build the way it's kind of spread out and sprawling out um that'd be a really cool one uh that might be awesome uh stud lane book nook little corner like kind of like reverse uh negative uh modular that's different different approach kind of cool uh, minifigure gumball machine i saw this one 
I would really like this to become a Lego idea set. This kind of, for me, fits into that ideas theme very, very nicely. Uh, having that working functionality, uh, just adorable, super cool. What a great idea. Um, and so I think that kind of embodies. So I really hope that one is one of the ones that get gets picked. Uh, we've got a greenhouse, adorable. It could almost scale it down and that could be like a promo or something. That'd be kind of cool. Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm a huge Yu-Gi-Oh fan. I'm not sure, you know, if I, if I even need that as a set, but it's super cool. Then we've got Phineas and Ferb. There's been a few uh, submissions here. I guess some of the uh, kids that were like younger who liked Phineas and Ferb have grown up. I, I kind of caught the tail end of it. It was on TV when I watched, but I wasn't into it. But some of those kids have grown up, and now they want Phineas and Ferb sets. Now they're they're big enough and smart enough to make these these complex renders. Uh, yeah, Doofensmirch's Evil Incorporated Building. That's a that'd be a really cool uh, modular to have. Uh, we've got another Taylor Swift uh mo uh monograph uh, where you like look one way, look the other. It, it shows different. And we've got another Taylor Swift building. Phineas and Ferb. Uh, we've got uh, Perry the Platypus. Looks like he kind of like can go transform, obviously, from his like regular platypus to his detective. Uh, that's adorable. That would be a really, really good one to have. Really popular. Cool train. Flying Scotsman. Then we've got Jumanji board. I really like this one a lot. Jumanji is a great movie. Um, and so having that like open play style board is super sick uh the functionality to that We've got kerbal space program rocket this is adorable very hungry caterpillar um don't, don't know how popular it'd be for a lego set but adorable then we have uh the working lego bicycle this is sick very cool i think for the ideas theme again i think this kind of fits into it uh, the scaling, everything, it looks really cool. So, uh, working bicycle, super awesome. Here's another Muppets Theater. Like I said, we've gotten, we'll continue, I'm sure, to get different submissions. Very popular. A lot of people like it. Uh, we'll see if it ever, if, it, if anybody's ever gets accepted. But then we've got Landscape Photographer. And then we've got, uh, Schitt's Creek, uh, TV show. That's kind of cool. I know about that one. Haven't really watched it. Vintage Toaster. I love the color. Love the color another taylor swift like i said keeping them coming keeping them coming that's maybe like four or five I, i've kind of lost count new york corner busy it kind of almost looks like uh the jazz um club almost then we've got mr rogers sitcom that'd be a good one interesting mary poppins love it we've got crusty crab going with the spongebob vibes again could be but just not needed another taylor swift one um, and so it's like once they hit 10,000, uh, they just make it into the 10,000 club and then Lego has to sift through. So, you know, if everybody just votes, everybody, you know, everybody really liked the Taylor Swift ones. They, everybody had a bunch of good ideas for them as well. So then we've got a, uh, snowy morning in the countryside. Great build. Uh, it's kind of a combination of a couple different sets that have existed. It kind of looks like the A-frame cabin a little bit. Christmas set be a good one be cool and then we've got marine life i've seen this one i think this was part of like the target uh the one that went up against the viking village if i'm not correct or maybe it's similar uh another taylor swift one uh and then we've got a community that's adorable you know just for like maybe it being like a like a 35 dollars set that's adorable slip that one in for sure you could potentially you know fluff up the piece count and you can make him change colors or something super super good i like that one a lot a lot a lot and then we've got uh train bookends great idea a lot of people like books lego kind of hand in hand uh similar uh likes interests so that would be cool that would be a good one uh disney pixar's uh junior lamp that is a good one great build instantly you know iconic um <clears throat> excuse me that'd be a good one and then uh nasa space launch system uh popular with the rockets everything going on the gbc you know i've thought about this before i think i think lego in general should do a gbc set but uh if it came in an idea set that'd be a great way to introduce it this one is really complex looks very lego fied just with like going through the lego land park or something you've just got all these different themes space castle jungle 
C, Ninjago. So, yep, it's really cool. Uh, it looks like it's on a crank, so maybe if you put it on a motor, fend it up a little bit. Uh, and then the last one here in the second round of submissions is a, uh, it's called Chess Master. I'm guessing a chess set inside of there. There was a three-in-one, a multi-set um, that already existed. Still would be cool. Chess, board games again. Lego as a board game or using it as a board game is cool. Then the last one, are you still there? Are you still hanging on? I told you it was going to be a long one. Uh, I said get comfortable. So, uh, and fingers crossed, you know, all of these, who knows what's going to get picked here in the last round of submissions was just finally put into review. Uh, the third submission for 2023 was announced January 8th, 2024. So about three, four months ago, uh, four or five months ago now, excuse me. Uh, and we've got 42 submissions. So, uh, let's just run through these real quick. Modular Heritage Museum, because we've just gotten the Natural History Museum. Maybe not. Uh, Great Temple Abu Simbel. Uh, super cool. I like the, the minifigures, the prints on it. Uh, definitely cool. We've got Rolls Royce Phantom. If we did a classic car, I'm, I think I would probably want like a like a a Ford T1 or whatever they're called, the old the old uh, original vehicle. But a, a Rolls Royce, cool Phantom, fancy fancy Moon Palace, getting uh, Monkey Kid vibes on that one. NASA SLS, so Artemis rocket. So obviously they didn't know the new rocket Artemis was uh, coming with lego so definitely i'd have to say that one's not getting through we've got lego anatomy because we've got the buildable upscaled minifigure i think this one would be cool kind of kind of a little bit freaky but then at the same time super cool um then we've got a really really awesome Coraline pink palace uh, the, her house from Coraline. Well, i think it'd be like one of the best lego houses they've ever produced uh if that one did go through massive piece count i'm sure then we've got uh a twin towers then also good ogle garden uh don't know if that's from something or uh happier than ever it uh, looks like a radio with an old kind of like living room cut out don't know if that is from something or not here we've got city burger and with no disrespect i almost kind of it looks like a like a knockoff lego set like i almost it's like so clean but then like so different than like typical lego um techniques and like the reversed inverted um cool yeah uh desktop rock and roll so having like a juice box on your table uh oops not too big so yeah desktop could fit there uh we've got another phineas and ferb flying car uh perry right there that'd be interesting kind of flat plane but uh if you're a fan of the show then we've got a giant some type of you know telescope or uh satellite and then we've got another harry styles popular lego microscope would be cool you could see that being a thing sequoia tree trail uh maybe it's, i don't know famous famous place um somewhere i giant trees giant redwood tree maybe um tesla i feel i've seen people people have asked for tesla sets before and i've seen that do tesla sets exist so that would be you know a possibility uh it'd be a good branding good 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 deal to have uh then we've got working canal lock so somehow like the the set has like lifts and lowers that would be cool somehow fit that into a lego city we've got christmas theater wreck it ralph next we've got uh stray kids literally no clue what that is interesting build though uh just kind of playing out almost like bts vibes or something uh we've got rainforest frogs really cool could go into like the botanical collection vibes steve Irwin, majestic crocodile i really like this one we had like a jane goodall promo and having sets that promote good things and and you know awareness or like people and history and like education and he was all about nature and stuff so i think that would be be a great way to honor you know a great person that existed uh then we've got camelot uh the knights of the round table interesting very complex set uh looks like it would connect up to stuff or it's modular in some form uh classic tractor uh that would be lego kind of going back to their tractor days that would be interesting i know different toys that they've made in history so that would be a cool thing to have the classic tractor 
forest base. Uh, couldn't go wrong with the forest set, Classic Castle. They've done quite a few, and if not, I could definitely see that being a Bricklink designer program set. Vintage service station. Uh, I really like the cars. Those are built out really well. Uh, classic vibes with the red and green. That sea turtle. Now, there was another sea turtle submitted, and there now there's this one. Really like this one. Definitely would want some kind of base or something to hold it up at an angle. Uh, no Man's Sky. No clue what it what that's from, but definitely looks good. Here we've got Pirates Treasure Chest, and we've recently got that Dungeons and Dragons set. And I'm just getting those vibes. Being able to like fold up a playboard, like a board, really good idea. Uh, very simple, flat. Uh, looks like a you know pirate eye skull island. Just really, really awesome idea. Really cool approach. Queen Elizabeth, another one, uh, kind of paying tribute to her. I could see that also being a promo, just like the Jane Goodall one, like I just mentioned. Uh, very cute, her her dogs and everything. Uh, mechanical flip calendar, so like a calendar and or a um, clock. I there's no Lego clock, mechanical timed, powered clock, and I think that's that's something that should exist. Uh, here we've got Italian Riviera. Love the colors there. Got Subnautica, no clue what that's from. The display plaque is cool though. Here we've got a little bit more simplified uh, pink palace apartment from Coraline, her Coraline house and stuff. So um, definitely both those seem to be popular vibes right now. Here, this one, Galley of, the, of Warriors. This I would love for it to become a set. Super, super cool. The whole... Uh, old roman kind of viking village vibes that would go into and everything and just old world stuff so so cool the way it's on the platform as well we've got um looks like we're coming here to the end the simpsons crusty burger could be needed there was a quickie mart and then the simpsons house but the background just really makes it uh it's pretty simple but i guess inside it would be a little bit more uh filled in be interesting We've got Working Log Flume. I would really, for some reason, want this one to be a set. Uh, I have hopes of a Lego Village someday, and I would actually slip this in there. I've talked about having like a like a rock, kind of like a, a mining roller coaster, and I would definitely probably throw this, rock, uh, this log flume in there. Uh, Ikea Store would be a great partnership because they literally have Ikea Lego, or they have Lego in Ikea. Um, so that would, that would actually be a, a good little partnership right there. A-Team, Double Heat, Mr. T, Pity the Fool. Great models, great, great detail on that, that van and everything. Then the last one here on the list, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And big fan of the movie, Gene Wilder, everything. The set, it looks like the, uh, waterfall is actually moving. Really good for what you'd try to design for it. Maybe not what I would choose, but uh, comes with a golden ticket uh, tile. That'd be really nice. Overall, guys, I just slammed all of those out. 162 idea Lego sets for you. So uh, hopefully you got a little bit out of that video, a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of insight on what's coming for the two, for the Twilight and the Botanical. And then finger crossed for a couple of those. Uh, there's some really good stuff out there. And if not through Lego Ideas, it'll be on Lego Bricklink Designer Program. So it'll have two chances. So let's go. Like, comment, subscribe. But most importantly, never stop evolving.